Okay, what about? What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Now today, I wanted to test out something. Two of my friends, Ben Black and Kieran Brown, who you've probably seen, have been doing videos filling footballs with water and seeing what happens and the ball just moves all over the place. It's crazy. And I just really am intrigued to see if it works. So I've got myself a football, a Premier League ball from last season. So I'm gonna let it down and then I'm gonna fill it up with water and then hopefully do some skills with it. So, uh, yeah, watch this space. observations are that that ball moves everywhere. It just plops on the floor, so when you put force on it, it doesn't come back up, and when you're trying to do kick-ups, it moves like crazy. Man, we're gonna have some fun with this outside. Stay posted. Right, outside, it's a little bit wet, but I'm gonna test the bounce on both these things. So this is a match ball, regular ball, regularly pumped up. This is the water ball. <laughs> so it bounces once and then just plops to the floor, but the way it bounces is hilarious because it just moves everywhere. It's crazy. I'm just going to do some kick ups. So with this ball, it's reasonably easy. Just doing kick ups. With this one, that's so. <laughs> Yes! <laughs> Just listen to the difference in sound. So a normal ball. Just a beautiful sound. No effort. The water ball. Check how loud this is. Right, so I did a crossover and I'm gonna try and do it around the world. So one kick, twice round, catch again. So this is what it looks like with a normal ball. By the way, this feels really light now. It's so strange. Oh. Oh. Struggling to get 10 kick ups, never mind a double around the wow. world. Help me cut some eye after bait. Oh. Whoa! <laughs> It's like you're fighting gravity. So right now I feel that I've been training freestyle for almost 14 years and uh, I feel like all my powers have been taken from me. Gone because of a bit of water. Not good. Okay, so one of the fundamentals of performing freestyle is obviously balancing a ball on your head. So with a normal ball, it's actually quite easy because I've been doing it for so long. With the water ball, obviously it's moving all over the place. Let's see if it's any different. Ready? Oh my word. <laughs> He's actually ridiculous. It feels impossible. Rather than it being just still and being able to control it, it just moves all over the place. It feels like if I move one way, it goes the other way. If I move the other way, 
it goes the other way, like a trick bike, you know when you turn left and it goes right? Just, yeah, it's weird. In the air. No problem with the normal ball. Let's try this thing. Oh, it's well easy. It's actually easier. Yeah. It's easier because it's so heavy and it doesn't bounce. I'm just going to pass it against the garage just to see it go straight. And I'm going to see what happens when I pass this thing. So, normal one. Comes pretty straight back. But we kind of expected that with a normal block. But with this thing. <laughs> Even one goes up. Okay, so not too bad. I'm used to doing that. That's no problem. Let's try with this thing. So I'm just going to throw it up as high as I can and I'm going to first off try and control it and then go into kick ups. Oh man! <laughs> I slipped out of my hand. Ready? Oh my word. That actually really hurts your foot. Yes! Oh my word. Not really. Swollen ankle later. Oh my word. To be honest, the control isn't that difficult because it, it doesn't move as much when it's going at that pace. The thing that is difficult though, is just the weight of this thing. So when it's coming down from probably about 30 feet, it's gonna hurt your foot. So uh, I managed to get one, it's not too bad. I have managed to do a few control, a few freestyle tests. Now for the final one, which is the ping. I'm gonna whack a ball against that wall over there and see what happens. Then I'm gonna do it with a water ball and see what happens. It's absolutely mad. So obviously the normal ball just pings straight off, no problem. With this ball, first up, it actually hurts your foot, so you've got to be careful hitting it. But whenever it hits another obstacle or target, it just plops on the floor. It doesn't really bounce that much. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. It was so much fun to get out and try some of the football experiments that other YouTubers have been trying. And this was fun. The ball was, to be honest, a lot harder to do tricks with than I expected but I'm definitely up for doing more videos like this, having fun, trying out new ideas. So if you've got any ideas, put them in the comments, drop us a like, and if you're new to this channel, first time looking at what I do, subscribe. It really helps me grow my channel, do more videos, and part of more content. See you in a bit.